Wow, you found my video. Out of all of the SSD upgrades for the Steam Deck videos that are out there, you found mine. And I'm super happy you're here. Yes, that's right. We're doing an SSD upgrade for the Steam Deck. I'm just happy that you found this video out of the plethora of choices you have on how to do this. But today I will show you how to take apart your Steam Deck and install the inland SSD one terabyte. I'm replacing my 256 gig with that one terabyte today and I'm just super happy that you're here. Before we get into it, this is gonna be a short intro. Just like and subscribe if you can, if you're enjoying the videos, you know, it helps the channel. We all say it. I just hope that you're liking the content that I'm making. The last video that I made did 30,000 plays, so I'm super happy and just, I can't thank you all enough for the kindness that you have shown me. First up, what you're really going to need is a screwdriver, preferably a small one that actually is magnetic. I don't have a magnet, I don't have a magnetic one, but you can still make do. I use tweezers to assist with that. That's not something that you need. You'll also need credit card work, guitar pick. You can buy plastic tools for opening devices if, if you need that. Don't use metal because you will crack the case. When you open your case, you need something pla plastic to jimmy open the back of the case, which you'll see in the video. For the thumb drive, be careful. Some of them are slower. Uh, I had issues with the thumb drive. Many other videos that I watched, they had problems with certain thumb drives. Just be careful, make sure it's uh, a newer one. The newer ones seem to work better. I used a thumb drive and a USB-C adapter, and that's how I got mine working. It took me a couple of tries. Other people have used USB drives with SD cards and they say that works as well. Some people use docking stations, those can work as well too. I just use a USB-C adapter and a USB thumb drive and that's how I was able to boot into it. PSA, be sure to take your micro SD card out as I forgot to take mine out and it snapped in half. So. Yeah, take out your memory card. All right, with all the formalities out of the way, how about we take a look and open this sucker up and get started. All right, so I actually have not done this yet. <laughs> this is gonna be my first time go. You are going to experience this with me and hopefully we don't break anything. It looks very sim fairly simple. So the first thing that I saw was to put or the recommendation was to put it in battery saver mode. So it was power button and plus. Okay, so now you wanna go to setup utility. And then to power. And then battery storage mode. And as you proceed, you hit yes. And now it won't turn on until you plug in the actual AC power adapter. So you have eight screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These four outside ones should be the longer ones and these four in the middle are the shorter ones. So word of advice, take out your SD card because you will break it. I know I probably already talked about that, but yes, take out your SD card because it will snap that sucker in two. Now, to pop the back off, I'm using this. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna use this to snap it. They have um, plastic tools. You don't wanna use metal because it's probably gonna crack the case but hey, let's see if this will work. So what you wanna do is, yep, there you go, got it. Almost got it. Oops. So much for that, that didn't work, did it? Oh, there we go. That actually worked. Pop and twist. I think we're okay. Here, and there we go. 
well. And we have the back open. Okay, so there is a screw. We wanna take this plate off. So the screw here under the foil, this one right here, this is the screw. come out. So I use in tweezers are very useful for this. Make sure we save our screws. Um, all right, so we're gonna keep the foil. So you can just use your fingers to scrape it off of my nails. Let's see if that works. A little bit better. All right, there's the screw. Pop that sucker off. Really works better if you have magnetic uh, magnetic uh, screwdriver. There we go. Got that screw out. Oh, there's one more screw up here. I like to use tweezers. Now it should pop off. It just pops right off. All right, so here is the power cable or power cord, which we want to disconnect. which I just use my fingernail and just stick it in there. And it comes right out. Okay. And then next we have the NVMe we're gonna replace right here. This is a hard drive and we're gonna keep that shield. sucker out and there you go right there see it all good to go now I don't know if we can just yeah so it just slides right off so just slide that bad boy off in all right and there we go and it's in let's take our main screw here all right let's screw that bad boy back in back in if you got a little bit of a nail some nails you'll, you'll feel a click on Creating the USB stick, super easy. All you need to do, go and download Steam OS, pick image, 
game's site. I will leave the link in the description below. All you do is gonna click this, download it. Next, you're gonna wanna download a program or utility called this to the, to the site. I'll leave the description. Download right now then Rufus 4.0. That's the one that you just down, you download. All right, you wanna open up Rufus and then you're just going to click on your USB thumb drive by selecting it here. Next, you want to select your image that we just downloaded for the Steam OS. Open. You don't really have to do anything else here. And then all you're going to do is click start and click OK. And it's going to ask you again and warning you. OK, you're good to go. Now I have a USB dongle and the SanDisk. Uh, USB drive. Remember, be careful which ones you pick because certain ones don't work as I talked about earlier. So we're going to use this one. Okay. So I'm going to pop this in. Now we want to hold the power and volume down button, volume minus button. And you just hold down the minus button until it comes up. It should boot to the thumb drive. Or not to the thumb drive, but to the there we go. So now you can see the only option to pick is the USB SanDisk thumb drive. So let's just pick that and it should boot up. All right, what you want to do is you want to do re-image Steam Deck. It says the actual, the actual re-image the Steam Deck. This will permanently destroy all data in your system. So yes, we're fine with that. Proceed. I don't have anything on there. It's a brand new hard drive. There you have it, just like it is when you bought it or when you opened it, brand new. All right, there you have it. That's all there is to it. It's super easy. I'd say on a scale of one to 10 for someone that's never taken apart a device, it's probably difficulty of three. If it's something that you've done, if you've opened up laptops before, the difficulty level is probably a one. It was super simple and super easy. Just want to say thank you all for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Toss a comment down there and let me know what your experience was like. Did this help you? Was it, did I get something wrong? I'm very open to criticism. Most of you have been super kind though, and I'm just thankful you all are enjoying the content. Let me know what you'd like to see. Maybe I can improve something. I don't know. Just comment. Let me know. Let me know what's going on. I don't know. Let me know how your day was. Anywho, thank you all so much and I appreciate, appreciate you hanging out with me.